So guys, I uh, I do apologise for the state of me. I've been cutting down trees all day. Uh, and we've had some wicked weather. We've had some really, really nice sunshine. An absolutely beautiful day. Hottest day of the year so far. And that's in the UK. Meanwhile, in Bulgaria, our dream destination, it's been raining all day. <laughs> so you couldn't write this stuff, could you? Uh, yeah, so in May they do tend to get quite a bit of rain. Uh, but it certainly doesn't put me off because they still get 300 and odd days of uh, sunshine every year. A lot more than we do, especially in Lancashire and England. So, a little bit of an update for you. Uh, as you were aware on the first video, I spent a week in Bulgaria uh, hunting down properties. Uh, and my main objective was to go over and start with the process. Uh, because since Brexit, you are not allowed to buy land um, in Bulgaria as a UK citizen. Uh, what you are allowed to do is set up a limited company in Bulgaria and the company is allowed to own the land. So the whole point, the whole reason behind my trip was to set up a limited company. So a limited company got set up in the same name as my UK company. Uh, that was an absolute bargain for me. It cost me probably around £200 in total to get everything sorted out. Um, and that's uh, thank you to uh, Smart Tax Consulting. Uh, absolutely brilliant guys there. Uh, looked after me every step of the way. Uh, helped me with the bank. Did all the translation at the notaries. Fantastic. So once that was done, I headed to the area I wanted to be in, which is inland from Sunny Beach and Burgas, uh, and found some amazing villages, some beautiful villages. Uh, the problem was, is that every estate agent I spoke to told me that there was no properties in my price range, which I kind of understand because since, uh, since lockdown, a lot of properties did get sold. A lot of Bulgarians bought properties near the coast in their home countries, especially the wealthy Bulgarians from the cities, uh, because they couldn't go on holiday abroad. So they holidayed in Bulgaria itself and liked the coastal areas so much they bought any cheap house they could. So yeah, there's not much on the market in my, my budget. However, after being told that by both uh, Bulgarian estate agents and by uh, Pat, our British ex estate agent over there. Uh, Pat from One Stop Property Shop went above and beyond uh, and managed to find us a property. It happened after I left the country, while I was back in the UK. It was literally within two days of coming back. Uh, Pat's friend, Bulgarian friend, uh, Manol, came to the rescue and found us a brilliant property, absolutely spot on what we need. Nine rooms in total, um, over 1,200 square meters of land. So absolutely perfect for us. Uh, and yeah, within within a few days of coming home, three or four days of coming home, we put a deposit on it and now we're just waiting for all the paperwork to come through. Once all the paperwork's uh, sorted out by the lawyers and the lawyers are ready then to receive the money and notarise everything, uh, myself, Jess and the kids will uh, jump on a plane and go back out there, maybe uh, book a B&B &B for a few nights, uh, sign on the dotted line and get the keys, which is fantastic. Let's just hope it stops raining by then. So all in all, I can't thank Pat and Helen enough uh, guys, anybody that wants to buy, certainly in that sunny beach location, um, one stop property shop went above and beyond for us. Uh, Pat's a very honest guy and I think he surprised himself actually because what they found us is a bit of a rare, rare property at the moment uh, for the size of the property in the price range I was looking at. So uh, thank you so much guys, you've really pulled out all the stops for us. Uh, highly recommended to anybody else that wants to move out over there and I'm sure that when I get back over there I'll be uh, I'll be inviting you around for the uh, housewarming barbecue anyway so that's it for now guys I will give you another update in the next few days and let you know what's going on uh, and hopefully by then we should be in a position where we've transferred the cash and uh, wait to sign on the dotted line but uh, exciting times ahead. Cheers guys!
Hey guys, so uh, as you can tell I'm uh, still back in the UK uh, and awaiting to hear some good news regarding property in Bulgaria. So uh, it's a week ago today we put down the deposit uh, so I'm hoping that as the contracts will keep them holding the property for us for two weeks that this week we'll actually see something happening. Um, we have had a message back from our lawyer. Say hi Cody. Hi. And Toby. Yeah, playing out in the garden on a cloudy day in England as usual. Uh, and as you can tell by the smoke we've also got a fire going because we're trying to burn some garden waste. Uh, so yeah, so we've had a message back from the, uh, from the lawyer saying that they're still trying to get hold of the paperwork, still trying to get hold of the deeds to the property um, and they also require each of the remaining relatives um, of the property to sign that it can be sold, uh, which hopefully they'll be able to do this week. We had hoped it'd be a quick process as the, the uh, one of the sisters, one of the sellers of the property is also a lawyer, so we thought that might help us. Um, however, that's not necessarily the case. Um, but once I'm sure all the paperwork's been sorted and organised, they'll be in touch expecting some money to be sent over. The sooner we can send the money over, the better. What do you think, boys? Yes. Yeah? Time yeah. to go and play out in Bulgaria? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Bulgaria. Bulgaria. I like Bulgaria. Yeah? You like Bulgaria? How do you know you've never been? Yeah. <laughs> you got to love them. So, interesting times ahead. Catch up with you all soon.